Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go into an in-depth look, or kind of, for me at least anyway, of the uh, F5C. It's probably one of my favourite premium planes in the game, if not my absolute favourite. One of the, the above. Um, this vehicle cost me 90 AUD, that might translate, I think it's roughly 60 American dollars. Yeah, just going back over it now, it is $60. Unless I'm looking at the wrong spot, which I probably am. Anyway, uh, this plane sits at a BR of 10.3. Um, I found it is a lot... It's not... How do I say this? It's not slow, but it's not as fast as other 10.3s or other vehicles at your BR, such as the F-104, MiG-21s, F-4 Phantoms. Um, even... A full payload of a F-105 would still be able to outrun you. Now it does get the wingtip sideways, they are the AIM-9Es. They basically are AIM-9Bs with an unlocked seeker head, which is why I think a lot of people don't think they're that good. However, I, I still find these as very capable air-to-air missiles, because they catch a lot of people off guard. A lot of people know the main armament that you'll be taking out in the F-5C is the aim 9 e so they think, oh, it's just the worst, a it's just a slightly better aim 9 b I can slightly pull an out turn it. Well, it's going to catch them out off surprise when I can actually lead it off a little bit more, which is what you'll see a lot of people stall out in front of me, not expecting a lot. But these things, I, I don't know, they're still air-to-air missiles, I don't know why people think that they're just not going to be able to do anything against, well, anyone. Now, I'll quickly just touch on its history in real life. Uh, the F5C, or as it's better known as the Scotia Tiger, uh, there was 12 of the F5A variants that were flown to the USAF for four and a half months uh, during the Vietnam War. And they were modified at the Palmdale plant by adding removable, non-retractable air refueling probes on the left side and 90 pound external armor plate under the cockpit and engine. Yes, I'm reading this off the Wikipedia, don't hate me. Running through the performance, I have this crew ace, so don't take the background knowledge as uh, what it will be like when you have it. The F5 turns extremely well, even outperforming most MiG-21s. The only two I tend to struggle with are the BIS and the BIS SAU, and that's just because their sheer engine, pa uh, engine performance is way better than the F5s. But uh, you'll have no trouble turning with your enemies or even out turning some. And uh, I think if you play this well, you don't even really need a good crew. You, as long as you just keep pulling those negative Gs with the positive every now and then, you should be fine. It does also get 60 total countermeasures, which I prefer to take. Uh, I think it's called Flare Priority. Yeah, it's called Flare Priority. Uh, so 40 flares, 20 chef, and this works completely fine. It's enough to last me an entire mission. Um, with up tiers, you're versing things like MiG 23s and uh, BIS SAUs and a lot of other Phantoms as well. Now they're all gonna like kind of stomp you, so to say. You don't have a radar. Your missiles, I, I know what I just said, I said they're okay, but they're gonna really underperform at 11.3 when you're versing things that can pull 35G and stuff like that. Your best bet is mainly sticking to the deck. The F5C uh, does really well on the deck compared to our altitude, where others will out to perform you, out turn you, out climb you. Uh, you can still out energy them. This thing has insane energy retention, don't get me wrong. But because the majority of their engines are a lot stronger, you'll find that you'll be constantly in an energy battle against planes that can just do it better than you. Except for this clip that's showing on the spot where I'm being absolutely deleted by an F-86K. We will not talk about that. I actually only clipped this because I was kind of upset he got stolen by an A5C. I <laughs> would have been pissed. However, in down tiers, uh, this thing performs extremely well because now you're flying faster than the majority of your competition. Unless, of course, there's other 10.3s playing with you, which there will be. But your air to -air missiles are now versing things that don't even have any sort of countermeasure. And with Gaijin's spotting system the way it is right now, if you can get eyes on first before the before spotting system, they've got no avoiding that missile. Um, even at range sometimes, if trying to avoid 
these missiles that have a fair bit of lead on them because they're uh, unlock seekers. Also, that's not the right wording, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Moving on to the rewards of this thing. Now, I well, can't exactly remember the stats. I don't obviously look into that that much, but I roughly get anywhere between 10 and 11k for each kill I get, which is very generous, especially with two tip sidewinders and in a down tier. That's 20 grand there. It's roughly, for two kills, I find it's close to 7 grand of RP, which for me right now, while grinding out the uh, AV8C, is really helping me to get really close to this A10 Warthog. I'm really excited for that. Now, if there's one joke I love making to my commander, it's how the R60s do nothing to this thing. This thing is extremely resistant to dying. It is quite literally immortal, I find it sometimes. Uh, the, the clip I'm showing in the background, you can see this thing is very damaged. And I was trying to make it back to base, but I don't think I was going to. But the game ends, thankfully, before that. But you can look there. I'm still somewhat flying enough to maintain altitude and stuff like that. I am missing majority of my tail. My aircraft, like a lot of the surfaces are black, missing flaps. Uh, my pilot was yellow there. It's just extremely well and resistant to any sort of damage. So to sum up, uh, it has okay missiles, no radar, has RWR, very resistant to damage, good rewards, and is an all-ground really good uh, grinder for the for that top tier. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It seems it's a, it's good. I always say it's a bit rushed. It's just because at the moment I'm using a PlayStation to edit all these videos and it's a bit whack. Uh, they only lets me record a certain amount of audio clips in one video, so I've got to really work around that. I've been trying to get Premiere Pro to work on my new laptop, but I have no luck so far. Um, so I'll let you guys know when that happens, but for now, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.